What's up, webheads? It's your boy Spidey Q. It's a beautiful sunny Thursday. It's cold as balls, though, but at least the sun's out, so we got that. And it's time for next in Q, so let's get to it. All right, let's talk a little more about that armored spider, eh? I managed to secure a mannequin, which is going to be coming from actually in town. The guy is uh, just outside of Oakville, so I can actually drive and pick it up and save a ton of money on the shipping because, you know, those gigantic packages. And it'd be weird to have like some six foot box standing in front of the house that says, you know, FedEx. It'd just be, it'd just be a little weird. We managed to lock that down. I got it for a really decent price as far as I've been shopping around. The price was good enough for, for the quality of the mannequin and for exactly what I needed it for. So. I'm happy I managed to grab that, and we're gonna see how that turns out. I've also started drawing up the foam pattern for it, the way I'm gonna be laying the foam on top of the second second skin suit. Come on, Q, focus, man. The way I'm gonna be laying the foam out on the second skin suit, I've got that pattern already kind of drawn up. You'll see that on my Instagram more towards the weekend. Well, it's Thursday, but you'll see it on the weekend. Yeah, on the weekend. I've decided on how big I wanna go with the squares, not too big so that they're just off but not too small so that it doesn't look you know more accurate i tried to size it based on the drawings that i found and most of the artwork that i found so i think it's going to come out pretty accurate to the way it was drawn back in the late 80s early 90s we're gonna see we're gonna see how that goes i've also decided that it's not going to be bulky on the arms or on the legs like how it looks like he has shin pads or how it looks like he has arm guards i decided i'm not going to do it like that i'm more going to do it flush bye Ian couple of the guys leaving work for lunch just saying bye anyways back to it I'm gonna do it more flush and streamlined so it actually goes to my body shape a little bit nicer I will do the little pop-ups that'll be on the elbow and on the bottom of the knee how it kind of comes up like that I will be doing that but I'm gonna reinforce that a little bit more so that it doesn't like flake off or it doesn't pop off it'll probably just be another thin piece of foam that I glue behind the rest of the plating and then just carry the plating up from there I think that's how I'll do it or what I'll probably do which was an idea given to me by a buddy of mine, is build the shin pieces and arm pieces first and then glue them onto the suit instead of just doing the individual squares. This way you prevent the stretching from the suit kind of messing it up. Either way, I think it'll be good. The only problem I'm having a hard, that I'm having a bit of a, a, a thing with right now is gonna be the hands and the knuckles. In some of the original artwork, a lot of the times when they get a close up on the knuckles, it's actually little spiders and they're little metallic spiders. So like I guess, you know, when you hit the guy, leaves little spiders all over him. But another artwork that I've seen from like the future comics from Spectacular, you don't notice that it's a spider. It just looks like it's a continued piece right down into the finger. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to tackle that yet, but I think it'll be pretty good either way. I might go with the spiders depending on how complicated they are. I might even mold them out of plastic. We'll see. And as a quick little sidebar to where I'm going to be posting this, I am going to upload a link to this video in the Spidey Society. So all you guys from the Society that are watching, if you have any tips or crits or anything like that that you think would help on this build, please feel free to let me know on my Facebook or on Instagram or even here. Let me know, guys. Like, you guys are some seasoned Spidey builders, and I really want to see what ideas you guys can come up with. Of course, credit will always be where credit is due. I just, I think as a collective, you know, having a bunch of ideas couldn't hurt. I also pose a question to you, to the average viewer, to the main viewer who watches my channel. If you have any ideas, if you're a general cosplayer, even if you don't cosplay Spider-Man, if you have any ideas on how I should go about doing something, let me know. I've got a general idea of how I want to go after it, but if you think there's a more efficient way to do it, always let me know. I'm always interested in what you have to say. I'm looking to start the build. It won't be this weekend because we've got, we're a little bit wrapped up this weekend, but I'm hoping to start to build next weekend. It'll all depend on when I go and pick up the mannequin and if the way I lay out the pattern is gonna cover up what I've got going on the existing second skin suit that I have now. If not, I just gotta buy a new one. You can grab them off Amazon for like 25 bucks, which isn't too bad. And all in all, what I'm looking for price-wise on the cosplay, including the mannequin, probably looking at this build to be around two to three hundred bucks and that's only with the second skin suit that is not if i'm going to decide to go with a patterned underneath lycra suit which i'm also deciding on because there is a really there's holy shit there's like three or four really good pattern makers i know but there's a couple of guys who have some open time in their schedules i might ask them to do me like a more metallic-y looking honeycomb design i'm not sure yet whatever you guys think i might do like a little poll on instagram to see what everybody's thinking or which way people are leaning either or if you have a suggestion again let me know and for the overall build i'm thinking it'll probably take about two months 
I'm thinking about two months. I'd like to have it done by Fan Expo. It should be done well before Fan Expo, unless it's like, you know, a week before and it's like, fuck, I haven't even started it yet which is usually the case sometimes because I'm on a lot of builds right now. <laughs> Either way, let's try and have it done before Fan Expo. This way, when we get there, it'll be, I think it'll be one of the only ones there. I haven't seen it yet. And uh, if you guys are inspired to make one as well, or if any of you Spidey cosplayers are inspired to make one, make one as well, and you're going to be at Fan Expo, make one. Let's compare, you know, uh, tips and tricks and secrets and stuff like that. That's one of the best parts about building a new or original concept Spidey suit is that you get to meet everybody and they're like, hey, I've been thinking about doing that. You get to trade some ideas. It's a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and wrap this up, right guys? And if you like what you saw today, you can go ahead and hit the like button. And if you plan on sticking around, why don't you go ahead and subscribe too. And if you can think of a couple people who would have want to have an input on this build or who just have a couple tips or tricks that they might want to share, why don't you go ahead and share the video and spread some love on the channel. But as always guys, thanks for hanging. I'm Spidey Q. Lots more coming from your boy. So as always, Stay tuned, y'all.